So we're going to continue with automation, but we're going to talk about instead of drawing it in, we're going to perform the automation in. So I'm going to show you how to do it in real time. <clears throat> and that's over here in the notes right here. So recording track automation and there are two ways to get automation data in, record it in and draw it in. And also you can edit data in the same way that we're doing it now. So <clears throat> recording track automation. We have different automation modes in Pro Tools that is off which means that all the automation is off for the track. It doesn't read it, it doesn't write it, it doesn't do anything. And then you have read which Pro Tools follows the automation data that's written on the track, which you can't write any more automation data in, it just reads the automation. And then you have your record modes. There are three different record modes here. You have touch, which only records the parameters you are touching. You have latch, which only records the parameters you are touching, which is the same. And then you have write mode, which records all available parameters simultaneously. Now, the most destructive one is write mode. And I, re I really recommend you don't use write mode except maybe in the very beginning or if you're very um, confident about what you're recording. But I really recommend that you don't use write mode very much. Usually you want to use touch and latch, which again, they both only record the parameter that you are touching. Now, the difference is that touch mode stops recording when you stop touching the parameter and latch mode continues recording at that last parameter's level or data point. So. Let's take a look at this uh, here. So here's the difference between touch and latch. Touch mode, if like let's say my original automation is in blue here. So I've already had some automation that's in there and I wanna overwrite some of the original automation at some point, but then I want it to continue following the original automation after I stop touching it. So that's touch mode. So I, I touch it and I, I move my controller up and down, up and down, up and down, and I let go. I take my finger off of it and it immediately goes back to the original automation. Whereas with latch mode, if I'm touching it, I turn the knob up and down, up and down, up and down, and I let go, and instead of stopping, it continues in a straight line to record the automation right here. So that is the difference. <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right here. So down here, frequency. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this effect. Here's my filter here. I don't need to put it at the end here. I'm gonna put it right here, boom. Oh wait, oh, oh that's interesting. I didn't know Pro Tools worked like that. Here, let me just go ahead and put that here. And then the next one is my output gain, cool, okay. So now, if I move this, you can see it moves that line down there. So watch what happens. If I put this into, here's my automation right here, my automation mode. I'm gonna put that into touch mode. I'm gonna go ahead and write some automation in. We're just gonna go ahead and start right here. Right here, let me unpause, there we go. Uh, parameter is this whatever knob you're turning. See on my screen here, this is my frequency knob, right? That's my parameter. That's any of these, these are all parameters. Every, like the different knobs are what parameters are, okay? So, here we go. So, I'm gonna play. Okay, and you see how it went back up there? See how it draws the line in right here? Draws it in, and then it goes back up to the top because my original automation, which was no automation, was up here at the top. So let's go ahead and undo that. Now let's put it into latch mode. If I let go of this, if I let go, now it draws a straight line right across the bottom. And I could go ahead and just get rid of that point up there. And now I just got this automation line across the bottom and I can go over here to this part here and draw it in. Following ourselves, following our hearts. Our 
And see, it just keeps it going in a straight line up here, and I can just delete this, and there we go. So if I go back and watch it. Okay, and that's how that works. Cool. Okay, so you can just go ahead and draw it in. You're in the wrong class the whole time. What does that mean? You already said that you were here. I already got you. I don't, I don't understand how you were in the wrong class the whole time. All right, so. So much more. Okay, I can just go ahead and delete that out and go over here. Okay, you see how easy that is. It's actually easier to play it in than it is to draw it in. In some cases, it's like this, right? Especially if you know exactly what you're going for and you're listening for it and stuff like that. Do your worst I will bear it. I will bear it all. Just for you. Do your worst I will Love is strong. All right, so you can see how you can draw that stuff in. And you can do that for every parameter, any parameter you want to do. You just have to go ahead and just activate it and draw it in. Okay, now if I wanted to, let's say that I wanted to have my filter here. And I want to actually have a whole bunch of different parameters change when it gets to the chorus. I really want that sound to change a lot when it gets to the chorus. Well, what I can do is I can just go ahead and activate all my parameters. So I'm just going to highlight all of them here, not, not the bypass. And I'm going to hit add over here like this. And now they're all automatable. All these parameters are automatable. And I can use write mode to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and triple click over here and hit delete. And now, hold on, let me just grab, let me just see something here. My post roll is turned on for some reason. There we go. Okay. So now, uh, what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to just go ahead and start where this is here. I'm going to have one setting be here. Let's just have this be a pretty basic setting in the beginning. Embrace me like skin. Oops, hold on. I don't want it. I want it to be read mode. Embrace me. Okay, so that's going to be that setting there. So that was latch mode. Yeah, what I was just showing you was latch mode. And the one I showed be first was uh, touch mode. And touch mode is the same. It just, instead of drawing a straight line, it just goes back to the original automation. So now what I'm showing you is write mode. And we're going to show you how, like, this kind of, it's like a tip for write mode. Here, let me just go over here. So write mode. overwrites everything at the same time. So you can actually use this to make a snapshot here. This is like this thing here, snapshot. And snapshot, it allows you to record basically presets into your session's automation. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with going up to our, um, our automation window. And we're going to turn off the automation for all of our other things. So only the 
plugin is write enabled because I just want to write enable this plugin. I just want to write automation into this plugin. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to turn this so we don't see that anymore. We don't need to see that right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and let's do this. Let's go to here. This whole section in here is, I'm just going to highlight this like this. And we're going to, here, I'm going to just highlight from the beginning as well. And I'm going to write this setting into this section. So I have to actually play this whole section here. I'm going to turn off my loop playback like that. And I'm going to hit write mode. And I'm just going to hit play. So all these settings for these parameters, all the parameters on my screen are going to get written in right from the beginning. And I'm just going to let this play for the whole entire time. And what's going to happen is it's putting all these settings into this whole section right here. So that's, that's that. Now I've got everything written in there and you can actually go down here and you can see there's going to be little points on each line. You're not going to see any changes though, but what we're going to do here is go to the next section right here and write in some more automation here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my automation window and I'm going to suspend my automation for a minute. So I'm not making any changes, so nothing is being written or anything. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit play. Up. And let's change some things here. Let's make it an LFO. Let's make it a rhythm. Well, the rhythm is not going to work here. Let's just use envelope. Y'all can hear that? All these different settings are going to change, right? And once I get something that I like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my suspend. I'm going to put this in write mode again, and I'm just going to hit play. Yeah, Geo says it sounds like a wah pedal. Absolutely, it sounds like a wah pedal. That's what wah pedals are. Wah pedals are just filters with a really steep cue that you can change with your foot. Cool. So I got that. 
And now let's listen to these. I'm going to go back and put it into read mode and watch what happens here. So we got this part over here. It's got one set of settings. And you can see everything change when we hit this chorus right here. Oops, well, if my Pro Tools can handle it. Um, if you lost sound, refresh, guess, And you hear how that changes right there. You can actually hear like a little pop, but I think if we had everything turned on, you wouldn't hear that pop. Following our hearts. Walking up that mountainside song, you said you are the one I will follow. So. Cool. So this is obviously not a guitar sound that I would use in, like, not for this song. I mean, I would definitely use this guitar sound. It's a cool guitar sound, but it's not for this song. But I just wanted to show you how you can, like, something you can use for that. And if you want to learn more about it, I would definitely rewatch this video. Um, let's see. Anything else about automation that we need to talk about? Claw click stuff. Uh, that's option, control, option, and uh, command. We talked about that before. Auto enable. Um, we talked about that yesterday. That's exactly the same thing we used yesterday. Um, oh, here's a really good trick for, for you to use, or a tip, not a trick, it's a tip. And it's the way that I always do my automation. If I'm drawing in automation, this is really important. This will save you a lot of time. Let's say I'm drawing in here. I'm going to go ahead and clear out here. I'm going to clear out all the automation here. I don't want any of this automation. Remove, there we go, okay. So uh, let's say that I wanna get the automation turned, I wanna get the v level stuff turned up. Okay, so I want it to be right there, and here at the chorus I want it to go up. So a couple things, one I could just grab it like this and drag it up, we talked about that, but I could also go ahead and put, put my points in. So I'm gonna put a point here, I'm gonna put a point here at the end, here, hold on one more second. I'm going to put a point here where I want it to start. If I want to put my fades in, here's where I want it to end here. And then I can go ahead and put this point in the middle. And what that's going to do is it means that it's going to go back to the correct level automatically. And I don't have to worry about what that level was. And I don't have to struggle with it. And if you find yourself struggling with stuff, this is an easy way to not be struggling with stuff. So let's go over here. And I mean, I, I, would, I would zoom in a little bit on this because, and what I mean by struggling is I mean struggling with that level of stuff like that. Oops, wait, I'm in the wrong, hold on. Let's get, I want my volume automation. Sorry, I was doing the wrong thing. Get out of here. Let's do, oh, I'm gonna triple click on it, enable, there we go, my frequency, cool. So I'll show you the frequency here, all right. So the frequency is, okay, awesome. So we got that there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a point here where I want it to start. I'm gonna put a point where I want it to end. I'm gonna click and drag this up. I'm gonna click over here and drag this one up as well. And I'll just make it go like this. I'm going to drag it over here where I, don't, where I want it to start doing its thing. And then over here, same thing. I'm going to put a point where I want it to start and a point where I want it to end. 
And that way I can just click and drag it and it's automatically going to come back to that same point. And again, I'm just going to put this where I want it to start like that. And this makes it very easy. To, here, let's listen to this. Cool. Okay. I want it to start really quickly and it's just going to stay loud for the end. So I don't need to put a point at the end. And what this does is it kind of locks things in and this is, Oops, I've been signed out. Hmm. Why have I been signed out? That's odd. Okay, well, anyway. So what it does is it just bookmarks, bookmarks things. So we just got one over here and one over here. All right, so that's like an easy way. And that's actually not Pro Tools specific. That's for every DAW. I would just go ahead and use that for every DAW. So you put the points on the ends first and you make the adjustment in the middle so things can come back to that point right there. <clears throat> cool. All right, and then do your volume automation with the trim tool, not the track fader for the trim plugin at the end of your effect chain. Yep, cool. And, um, okay, one last thing here is for doing some, let's say we wanna get this guitar part uh, in the bridge so it like stutters, so it kind of like comes in and out like rhythmically. Uh, we can go ahead and do that. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit weird because I don't have the, the tempo set up right now, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. I'm just gonna show you using the pencil tool. The pencil tool here can draw in automation. So I click on it here, and if I hold it down, you can see it's got squares and randoms, triangle, line, all that stuff there. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna zoom in. I'm going to zoom in one more time because I think, yeah, okay, cool. And set my grid to be, uh, let's just do eighth notes for now, even though it's not really going to be eighth notes here. And I click at the bottom and I drag it up. And there we go. So now listen to this. Do your worst in Pretty cool stuff, right? And you can make that go faster or slower just by adjusting your grid here. Put my pencil tool on. Let's just do this. So now. Pretty neat. And that's how the pencil tool works. And you can do others. I mean, there's lots of different sh shapes here you can use. But uh, the things you cannot use, if we look, is, hold on, let me zoom in here. You'll see down here, parabolic and S-curve. These are not for automation. The, you cannot use these for automation stuff. If you click on it and try to use it for automation, see your little pencil tool is grayed out here. It means you can't use it. That's for adjusting your tempo. Parabolic and S-curve are for adjusting your tempo, and that's it. What is up, Terry Simon? Um, hold on, let's see if I can get my... Here, let's grab this. Oh, that's the wrong. Why? I got encountered a problem. Oh, okay, fine. There we go. All right, let's see here. Daily attendance. That was weird. Yes, 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 you're too small, I get it. Okay. So, let me hear Terry Simon. You are here. You are. Cool. All right. So that's what's up with that. 
um, automation stuff. And so we covered the pencil tool. We covered this here. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we should be pretty good with stuff. Cool. Are there any other questions before I move on? Because what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, I want to talk about the uh, beat detective. And beat detective is a pretty involved thing. Um, we're not going to go over everything with beat detective, but I do want to kind of explain it a little bit, and then you can watch the video and try to learn it from there. Um, so we're going to spend probably about 20 minutes on Beat Detective. So let's do this. Let's take a 10 minute break and come back he here. Do you want to take a break or do you want to just kind of push through until we, like probably until about, if we, if we start now it'll be going until like 11, uh, 12, 15 or so and then we can take a break at 12, 15, like a 10 minute break. What do you want to do? <laughs> 